The main advantage of a top-down flow cooler is that it offers additional cooling for the CPU area of the motherboard, such as the VRM phases and power delivery. This is the site chosen CPU cooler. It uses a top-down design and a brand new 120mm fan pre-installed. The fan has a maximum speed of 1200 RPMs and uses a fluid dynamic bearing for the rotor. The corners of the frame of the fan are covered by rubber sleeves to absorb any vibrations and of course to prevent any unwanted noises. The cooler uses four 6mm nickel-plated copper heat pipes. These have exposed ending, ending terminals on the side of the heat sinks. The base of the cooler, just like the heat pipes, is made out of nickel-plated copper. However, it is polished in such a way that it has a reflection similar with that of a mirror. Moving on, the mounting mechanism features the same standard Intel certified system using four plastic clips that must be rotated to hold in place. It has no backplate or any form of support for the weight of the cooler. And thanks to the shape of the heat sink due to it being a top flow design, it becomes a hassle to install as demonstrated in the video. However, however, once installed, the cooler has a firm mount on the CPU surface and the advantages of a top flow design become obvious. The fan airflow is directed over the whole CPU socket area of the motherboard and also provides indirect cooling to the RAM modules installed. The graphics card's clearance is very good, the first PCI-1 slot is left with plenty of room and the RAM side of the motherboard has enough free space left to accommodate even modules with high-end heatsinks. The performance of this cooler is good considering the mounting system and the number of heatsinks that a single 120mm fan has to work with. However, the overall package works just as intended and provides a good cooling performance on an overclocked Skylake i5 CPU. The accessory bundle is simplistic to say the least. You get an installation manual, the Intel and AMD factory brackets and a pocket of thermal compound. And that's it. This is of course to allow the CPU cooler to be available at a lower price point and at the end of the day, these mounting systems work as intended. While being a low price budget oriented product, the Scythe Choton has the same level of build quality as the high end CPU coolers such as the Scythe Ninja 5, for example. There are no sharp edges in the fins to be found and of course the base of the cooler is polished to such a degree that it has a mirror-like reflection. The fan included in the bundle is part of the new Kaze Flex series from Scythe. This particular fan has a maximum speed of 1200 RPM, with PWM of course, and can generate up to 25 CFM. It also has a slivet cable and it is the same model used on the Ninja 5 high-end CPU cooler. But overall, what is the size chosen in the current market for CPU cooling? Well, it is a way better option than cheap questionable coolers that started appearing with low prices. For around 30 euros, the Choton offers a quality fan and heatsink with a good overall performance out of the box. Due to its simplistic mounting system, I guess it would not be used for extreme overclocking but for more casual gaming and office tasks. But keep in mind that in this video, the Choton was cooling a Skylake i5 CPU overclocked to 4.5 GHz, and let me tell you that not many coolers can do that, especially in the 30 euro price range.